you're watching on YouTube, you want to expand the window to full size. Here's how you do that. You click this button right here. And then it makes the window full size. And then things appear correct, work correct. You can see the whole thing. And then you can click the little close box to go back. So to start a new chart, you click this button up here. The gold page icon. And then the birth data entry window appears. And with astrology, it's always just name, date, time, and city. That is the exact location of a birth, which gives us the chart. So we enter name, date. Notice how I type it. Just numbers. I don't need to put slashes or anything. Then I tab. Same with the time. 04.42 a.m. I don't need to put a.m. because it's 24-hour clock time. So for 4.42 p.m. you could put 16.42. Or you could put 12... or you could put 4.42 space p.m. and it would format it correctly. The city where I was born was Oakland. I type the state CA for California. I tab. I type USA and tab. And notice it fills in these fields down here for me. When you tab out of country, like it says, tab after typing country name. Right. And then over here I check readings. And then I click OK. And it calculates the chart, fi finds the readings, saves everything. And it opens the window. And there's the chart of the person. Voila! Thanks to people like Galileo, Newton, NASA, Michael Erlewine of Matrix, Mark Pottinger, and all kinds of people, Tom Shanks for the Atlas, ACS. Tons of contributions from tons of people went into making Jyotish what it is today. Astrology, what it is today. So here's the chart, my chart. Now, you can make things pretty in this program. Notice when I click on a chart, it gets the red line around it. It gets this little palette in the middle as well. And uh, there's another palette you can pop up which is bigger. right? And you can say picture background and select a pretty picture background. I kind of like gray and thick. I like that one. I'm going to click over here and do the same thing. So th this palette, this movable palette, controls whichever chart you've clicked on. You can also click in the chart and you can switch from northern to southern to a small wheel version and back to northern and I'm going to put our picture back. There's a lot of pictures to choose from. And uh, Northern, Southern, pretty stuff. Okay, similarly here in the Dasha list, there's a little pop-down pop menu here where you can tell it to be another way. Now you have to select it twice these days, that's a little bug, but then it, if you do it twice, things appear. You can switch the level of Dashas here between 1, 2, and 3, and if you go to 4, you have to hit Calc, and then it does it. And if you go to 5, it tells you right here that you need to shorten the date range. So we could say to like one month ago to one month in the future and then click Calc. And then we can have five levels of Dashas. Now another interesting thing, I'm going to switch to a chart of someone already entered. That's me here. Okay, I'm going to double click that line and the chart window appears. And I'm going to select icons twice. And notice these dates sitting over here. Those are events. And um, if you scroll over, you can see what they are. Begins Jyotish, moves to Eugene. So I've entered events. Watch this. Uh, here on this, these little menus, one of them, the right-hand one here, is features in the program. And by clicking on this window, you see this is my window. This is the DOS Gauravani window. It's my chart. I opened it for me. Now in this version of, of 
Gauravani Jyotish, which is now called Jyotish Studio, one of the key things you can do is open multiple charts. So I'm going to click on Deepak Chopra here, and then his window opens. Now see, his window's here. My window is still here, okay? And you can even have windows look different. Um, I am going to click Palette, go to the Window tab, to the Saved Window Styles, and say My 2. And what that does is switches Deepak's window to another saved window view called My 2, which I've already created. And Windows can either have one chart, let's just leave it on one for Deepak. So there's Deepak's chart, and it's on you know a different view it's still a chart window and this is a chart window this is a chart window it just has a different view now back on mine I can pull down the little menu and go to events now I've entered these events for me already with date and time and so forth and what happens is they get put into things like if I open a Dasha window and spread it out here a bit you can see that my events are in the Dashas and if I go to say three Dasha levels and scroll you can see the events and then if I go back to the chart list I highlight my name and click transits then a wheel transit window will open with today's transits on it and watch how cool this is if I say align features by date clicks which is currently checked so it is on if I click an event it will send that date out through the program. It will highlight that date on Dasha windows and it will switch the transit window to that date. So you can see the transits on that day. It changes the date of the planets on the outside, which is the transits. So how cool is that? That's called, uh, right here under settings, align features by date clicks. Very cool feature. Align features by date clicks. Who else has that? <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. There's more. File quit. Bye bye.